All candidates participating in the forum were asked the same questions and were given the same amount of time to respond. This video was filmed by QAC TV and the questions were selected by editor Angela Price from Reader Suggestions. I'm Nicole Romeo reporting for the Bay Times and Record Observer. I'm here with Robert Bucky, who's a Republican Commission candidate for District 3. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Nicole, for having me. In two minutes or less, tell us a little bit about yourself and why you want to be a county commissioner. Certainly. Well, um, I'm originally from Prince George's County. I moved to Queen Anne's County in 1998, and um, I felt like I've lived here my entire life because the people are so friendly. I want to be county commissioner for the simple fact that I just feel we need a change right now in our direction, in the government. We need a commissioner that's willing to listen to the people and understand the needs of the people. Thank you. You're welcome. In two minutes or less, explain what you believe are the fa biggest issues facing the county. I think the biggest issues in the county is the YMCA. Uh, the beach fee of $35 was just implemented. Uh, the sewer down Route 8 and um, a budget, of course. They're the issues that I feel are very important to the county. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the proposed Four Seasons development? Good question. If I was a county commissioner at the time, that's not where I would have placed Four Seasons personally. I just don't think it, the infrastructure is there for the citizens of Ken Allen. There's a one, uh, Route 18 is one lane in, one lane out. Castle Marina is one way in and one, one lane out. I just, if we're going to build uh, these amount of homes back there, it's going to be additional 1,200 cars on the road perhaps on the weekend. It's going to create a lot of traffic jams. As I said, if I was a county commissioner, it's not where I would have placed it. But with that said, it's going to bring a good tax base to the county that the county certainly needs. And um, um, that's, that's all I got to say. In one minute or less, what is your position on the public sewer for Southern Kent Island? Good question. I think the issue with, with, with me personally is that I have spoken to so many individuals about this sewer down Route 8, and they simply cannot afford it. Whether it's $100, whether it's going to be 2 or what, whatever the number is, they simply cannot afford to make that, that, make that monthly payment. They're, they're retired. Some of them are senior citizens that live by themselves. Some of them are on a fixed income. Some of them are at a job, don't, are underemployed and had this extra hundred dollars put on them is going to be a big amount of money in my opinion. I also understand that there is a need down there for something and I'm just not sure that really this is the solution. So uh, my biggest concern is the cost of the people down there. Thank you. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on a public pool for the county and the YMCA project? I think a public pool for the county would be fantastic personally. I, I think that uh, instead of us funding a YMCA the way it is. First of all, I, I grew up on the Y. I love the YMCA, and I think we should do everything we can to bring in a Y. We should help them raise the funds, but I don't think that county should be in the business of funding private entities in the tune of $4 million. I, I, I think with that kind of money, we should be able to build our own public facility and put it in park and recs and control it ourselves. Or i just curious, did we shop this out? Did we look for other entities like the Boys and Girls Club of America, the Lions Club, or uh, organizations like this? That if we donated the land, would they be willing to come in and build a facility on their dime instead of having the tax dollars uh, do the county pay for it? So um, that's where I stand with that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> in one minute or less, what is your position on a new parking permit required to access public beaches at county parks, commonly being called the beach permit? I, I personally think it's another tax. Um, I, I, don't, I don't agree with it. I think our citizens already pay enough in taxes. We don't really get a lot for these services. And to sit there and put another $35 tax fee, whatever you want to call it right now, I, I just think is ridiculous. I don't understand where this came from or what brought it about personally. I think if we're looking to keep the beaches clean, I think that we can certainly get enough volunteers to help out in the county for it. But that's something I'm against 100%. Thank you. Thank you. In one minute or less, please describe your plan for achieving the county's stated goals of controlling growth while promoting economic development. It's a good question. I'm 100% for the Queen Anne's County Comp Plan. And whatever's within that comp plan, I feel I'm going to stick with as a county commissioner and not try to change it to satisfy certain individuals, whether they're for growth or against growth. I believe that we need to bring economic development to this county. We need to create jobs. We need to bring living wage jobs to this county. And if we have to work within, if we have to work within the uh, comp plan to do that, or even maybe make some modifications, I'm certainly willing to do that for the benefit of the county citizens that don't have jobs that have to cross that bridge on a regular basis. Thank you. Finally, in one minute or less, would you like to revisit any of the issues we've discussed or add anything that we've missed talking about? Yeah, the budget for the county. 
I, I think that we can meet a lot of our goals in the county when it comes to roads, maintenance on our facilities, our buildings, our schools, if we prioritize more and make these a priority issue in the budget. Other than that, that's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you for participating in our forum. Thank you very much, Nicole. To watch other candidates who have appeared in the series, please go to either the QAC TV YouTube channel or visit myeasternshoremd.com. Thank you for watching.